China's military has been developing invisibility suits for its soldiers, but recent intelligence suggests they've taken things even further. Reports indicate that China is creating an invisibility suit for robot dogs, a breakthrough that could make them undetectable on the battlefield. This technology is more than just camouflage. It's designed to hide robot dogs from both visual and thermal detection. Using advanced materials that absorb light and heat, these machines could avoid infrared cameras, night vision, and even drone surveillance. That gives China a major advantage in covert operations and battlefield strategy. Robot dogs are already being used by the Chinese armed forces for patrols, reconnaissance, and mine detection. But this new enhancement could take their capabilities to an entirely new level. Some experts believe this technology won't just be limited to robotic dogs. It could be applied to drones, exoskeletons, and uh, autonomous combat units, making China's military even more unpredictable. Meanwhile, the United States is rapidly testing its own robotic dogs to stay ahead in unmanned warfare. Under Operation Hard Kill, the U.S. Army has been evaluating Vision 60 models from Ghost Robotics. These quadruped machines are armed with targeting systems and even rifles, designed to take down drones and engage ground threats. A key feature of these robotic dogs is remote operation. Soldiers control them from a safe distance using specialized tablets, allowing them to aim and fire with laser-guided precision. The Vision 60 robots are built for navigating difficult terrain, making them ideal for reconnaissance, perimeter defense, and urban combat. Their agility means they can patrol areas and respond to threats faster than human soldiers. China recently conducted joint military exercises with Cambodia, showcasing their own weaponized robotic dogs. In a display that seemed straight out of a science fiction movie, the Chinese military demonstrated rifle-equipped quadrupeds capable of identifying and engaging targets autonomously. The exercises took place in Cambodia's Kong Chang province and involved over 2,000 troops, 14 warships, two helicopters, and nearly 70 armored vehicles. The biggest highlight, however, was the robot dogs, remotely controlled machines armed with automatic weapons. China's rifle-equipped robot dog is based on the Unitree Goto model, which costs between $1,800 and $3,000, depending on the version. It features an ultra-wide LiDAR sensor, an AI-powered control system, and a lightweight aluminum and plastic frame. Despite weighing just 15 kilograms, it can move at speeds of 3.5 meters per second, carry up to 8 kilograms of gear, and operate for about two hours on a single charge. While primarily designed for military use, some companies are exploring the idea of using similar robots for security, law enforcement, and even personal defense. Could we see armed robotic dogs patrolling city streets in the near future? The U.S. military isn't standing still. The Marine Corps recently tested a Unitree Go-1 robot dog equipped with a modified M72 grenade launcher. The goal is to use these armed machines for urban combat, allowing soldiers to engage threats from a distance or behind cover. The robot's weapon system includes a custom mount for the handheld grenade launcher, paired with a front-facing GoPro camera for targeting. In a recent test video, the launcher fired from a stationary position, with the robot stabilized by sandbags to manage recoil. What's especially interesting is that this grenade-launching robot dog was built by a Chinese company. China's Kestrel Defense has also entered the race, developing a firearm-equipped robot dog named Bloodwing. This machine was designed for military strike operations, particularly in high-risk zones where fire support is crucial. A recent demonstration showed Bloodwing being deployed from a drone. It was dropped onto the battlefield with a firearm mounted on its back, instantly providing fire support. This setup allows drones to drop robot dogs into hard-to-reach areas, such as rooftops or enemy-controlled zones, giving troops a tactical edge in suppressing hostile positions. Resembling quadrupedal robots like Boston Dynamics' Spot, Bloodwing stands out due to its weaponized design. 
According to Kestrel Defense, it plays a critical role in multidimensional warfare, giving forces a strategic advantage in both offense and defense. At the International Military Technical Forum Army 2024, the Kalashnikov company unveiled a different kind of robotic dog display. In an unexpected twist, these robots weren't demonstrating combat. They were performing synchronized dances. Dressed in camouflage, they moved in perfect coordination, fascinating audiences and showcasing the advancements in robotic mobility. While this might seem like a gimmick, the event also featured robotic deminers, rescue stretchers, and other battlefield innovations that could be used for both military and civilian purposes. Unitree, the company behind several of these quadrupedal robots, has gained a reputation for building machines similar to Boston Dynamics' designs. Their models are commonly used for logistics, research, and even entertainment. But a recent experiment in which a weapon was mounted on one of these robots has raised serious ethical concerns. Although the project was largely seen as a publicity stunt, it highlights the growing risks of autonomous weaponry. Once robots are armed, the question becomes who controls them and how far will this technology go? China's engineers are pushing even further. This is just the beginning. AI-powered warfare is evolving faster than anyone imagined. But what happens when these robotic soldiers start making their own decisions? Subscribe now and stay informed, because the future of war is unfolding and you won't want to miss what happens next.